All right. What's poppin' people? It's Dante. Today I'm thinking about time. Time and photography. Some thoughts on time. Some thoughts on time. Right? It takes a lot of time to make a good body of work, right? Think Think Vivian Meyer. This, this beautiful archive of work. Even books like this, Wonderland by Jason Eskenazi. What is this, seven years of work? Eight years, 10 years? Well, that's a decent chunk of time. You know? The world of that, Jay? <laughs> it's a decent chunk of time. Um, you know, what, what, is, what is, uh, this one book on Mexico from Alex Webb, 30 years of time, you know, that's 30 years of photographing Mexico, right? It's crazy. It's insane. That's a lot of time, you know? So I like to think that, you know, time and photography and, uh, you know, having a solid body of work goes hand in hand. It's like, I've spent the past 10 years. You know, I've spent the time, you know, learning all the rules, perfecting the craft, finding my voice, finding my approach, my style, my way of doing things, you know. And I've, uh, I've learned a lot. I've traveled a lot. I've been to different places, challenged myself in various ways. And it's not like when I traveled, I didn't travel for a little bit of a, you know, like a little vacation. Like when I travel, I would travel into a village, into a refugee camp, into challenging locations where it will teach me something. You know, I'm not just traveling, you know, to, to just like sit back and enjoy. It's like I was out there doing something, you know. Farming. I was out there farming and taking pictures at the same time. Um, and now it's like, uh, yeah, the more I think about the previous work that I've made, right. And the time I've spent making it, you know, I'm proud of it. I mean, I'm insanely proud of this body of work that I've, uh, acquired over the years. Right. It's like, like some of these pictures, I'm like, I took that, you know, like, it's kind of crazy to look back on my archive sometimes and think about the photos I've made and the places I've been and, it, uh, it makes me happy. It brings me joy. You know, I've uh, thrown myself into situations that I've only ever dreamt of, right? More recently on the, on the mountainside in Mexico City. <laughs> uh. But it's like, yeah, now I'm home. I'm in my hometown. I'm in Philadelphia, right? I'm, uh, I'm here. This is where I uh, was spawned in. This is where I live. This is where I was born and raised. And I've got, uh, I've got to start using my time wisely, you know? No longer am I going to, um, you know, perfect the, the craft in a way where it's like I'm, I'm making, like, Picassos every day and, like, Michelangelo's and, like sitting back behind the computer and like tweaking in Lightroom and like really thinking about shit and like, oh, should I move, you know, this photo next to that one? Or, you know, th does this need more contrast? It's like, I've never even, I've never personally cared about like the processing or anything like that anyways, but it's like just uh, switching from raw to JPEG, switching from color to high contrast, black and white. Guess what? Even in 2023, when we have this like high tech digital file systems and stuff, it's like, Black and white is still way faster. Isn't that funny? It's like black and white is still faster. You can make more pictures. You can do it quicker. You can cull through them in an instant. You can import them to an iPad. You can import your photos to an iPad. And you can cull through them like this, right? You look through them like this and you, you hold down a photo and you can favorite it. You can move it around. Right, you can do it like this. And it's like, you just click, 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 
click, click, click, click, favorite, 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 favorite. You make your decisions very quickly, right? No longer is it rocket science. You get an instant sketch of life. No editing, no nothing, no cropping, no bullshit. Just straight out of camera, straight out of camera, uh, abstractions of reality, right? The high contrast aesthetic is an abstraction of reality. And I think that it does, you know, Philadelphia deserves to be photographed in black and white anyways. It's a gritty, raw city. And I want to I wanna depict it that way through the way that I... Um, set my camera up to the way that I uh, have the files be processed. You know, it's an instant sketch. All of the pictures are straight out of camera, right? This aesthetic that I'm developing is new. It's something from new for me. And I'm really proud to have the courage to sort of just switch things up. But I think it's important to realize it's all about time. It's like the time spent doing it. You know, I'd rather go out there and take a picture of a landscape. Yeah, I can call it a day. You know, if I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. I go home, I go do something else or, you know, I, I mean, it's just, it's funny. It's like, you don't need to spend so much time anymore. It's like, you just, you know, once you've spent the 10 years, once you've like hammered, you know, your sword on the grindstone and you really learn the skill and how to do shit. All right, now it's time to break the rules. It's time to innovate. It's time to actually switch shit up and uh, make something meaningful from your heart, from your soul that I, you know, personally can look back on as like, okay, I did something different here. I did a, I did my city justice, you know, Philly. I don't like that term, like my city. I, I gotta stop saying that. Like I did Philadelphia justice, right? It's like I've documented the city in a way that I feel, you know, it deserves, you know, and it's gonna take a lifetime. You know, it's not gonna happen in a year. It's not gonna happen in two years. You know, it's not going to happen in a month or a week or whatever you're thinking. It takes a long ass time to come home with anything worthwhile when it comes to uh, photography. And that's why it feels nice now knowing that I've already have, you know, this little archive in my back pocket of the past seven to 10 years of traveling and photographing that. And it's like, okay, boom, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Now let's spend our time wisely. Let's make instant sketches. Let's speed things up. Let's make this thing, you know, less, less invasive of my personal freedom and time where it's like, I don't now, I know I no longer need to only focus on photographing, right? I can do other things and have the camera in my pocket. Now that I switched back to Rico, you know, this camera can now live in my pocket and I can go do other things and still photograph throughout the day. You know, I can put this in my pocket and go and do other things. And um, the pictures will come as they may. Life is now flowing towards me. You know, I'm on the hunt. You know, I'm looking, you know, I'm, I'm interested in experimenting and playing and trying to br push boundaries of, of different ways of doing things. You know, don't get me wrong, but I still think it's important to just let life come as it may. You know, let life flow towards you. Philly is very mundane. You know, Philly is not New York. Philly is not a clown show. This is a real East Coast city. So it's like, uh, yeah, I want to do it justice and I'm going to spend the time wisely, you know. Yeah. Cheers. Espresso time.